John Coltrane's uh, uh, A Love Supreme is sort of a, this, as a central aspect of the play. And um, his noise piece, supposedly noise piece, Ascension is also a part of it. And I think thematically how it fits is the idea of the lack of neatness and, and that jazz is about... Um, there's a great line in the play that talks about how John Coltrane uh, uh, democratized all the notes, that no, no one note was more important than the other, which is part of that citizenship I was talking about earlier, how to be responsible. Once you're given that uh, uh, mantle of equality, then you have to show up. And those notes have to show up. And so as we play those notes in the play, it allows for much more grayness. J jazz is very gray. It has it has the judgment is not about uh, how should I put this? There is there is a there's a quality to jazz that especially of that sort that has structure, but within that structure is improvisation. And I think life is that. We have a structured life in many ways. We need structure. Um, otherwise, we sort of lose our minds. Even if it's as simple as we wake up, we have to go hunt for our food or go grow our food or whatever, and then go back, cook that food. You know, That's still a structure. It may be a rudimentary structure, but it is a structure. We crave that structure, but we crave improvisation because what has happened is we have automated our life. And... We, we thought that automating our life was a good thing. It, it put things in its place. It was like a nice Swiss army watch or you know, a German timepiece. Uh, but we also know the problems where, when we don't let time stop, when we don't let ourselves be able to breathe. You know? um, so in terms of how, how the jazz lives in the play, um, I have a phrase that I use that I, you know, copped from Cornell West. I kind of m m massaged it a little bit. And it's like I say, I'm a blues man in the life of the heart. I'm a jazz man in the life of the mind. And I think that's, that's what I want this play to be. Is like, I want it to have that emotional impact of the heart. But I want it to have this world of ideas within it that's in the play already, but to live on that stage. So that we walk out of there having felt something really deeply that is very connective because it has to do with people trying to reach each other. And that is at the core of humanity that we are trying to reach each other. And as, we, as I extend to you, I am extending to me. Right, that's kind of why we come to the theater. We come and sit in the theater to see live people reaching out to us, and then, and creating a bridge between that experience and the experience of our own life. So in that way, I want the the play to have that impact of almost like the blues, <laughs> right? But the mind to be opened in the way that jazz does, in the way of its possibilities. <laughs>